Short Stories by George Hutton Down by the Quay A city without a river. Well, it isn't really a city at all, is it? Nothing clears a troubled mind more than a walk by the quay. Throw all your troubles to the wind and be thankful for everything and offer up the tough times that you had. Oi, Jimbo! Fancy a stroll down by the quay to the Monotime Festival? They've brought replica pirate ships. Oh, do grow up, Davy. Let's play some footy with the lads. Never mind then, Jimbo. I'll go myself. Some friend you are. David set off down along the Thames, watching the river move and change shape. It was truly majestic. You see, David's father, well, he was in the Merchant Navy, but he'd gone missing at sea just over four years ago. Davy always wanted to follow in his father's footsteps. Wow! Check out those sails! There were naval ships, merchant ships, gunships, fishing boats, jet skis. David loved the Maritime Festival, but this year he wanted to see the pirate ships. All aboard! Wait, wait for me, I'd love to sail on the Black Eye. Even if it is only for 15 minutes. Huh, <laughs> so you think, we lad. So you think. Jump on then. David loved the rustic look of the ship. It always reminded him of the old stories his father told him. Excuse me, sir, shouldn't we be turning back now? Davy, we're going to save your father, lad. But, 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 but what? Davy, your father's a pirate, son. He's been captured by Captain Blacktie. On the magical island of the dancing sheep. Wh right, right, that's it. I'm firing the cops. You're mad, mad as an atta. David O'Meara, father of David Ogle O'Meara. Your father was born in Kerry, married Josephine Williams in London. H how but... Oh, how do you... How do you... Hold on, me lad. We're passing through to the world of pirates. Lights began to glow. They dazzled young Davy. He couldn't believe his eyes. As the word began to morph in front of him. This old ship was passing through into a different dimension. Hail Mary, full of grace. Ah, oh, leave it out, lad. Prayers will do you no good here. Welcome to the world of pirates. There were ships everywhere. Davy's face lit up with joy. His initial fears had lifted, and a thought quickly returned. My dad! Where's my dad? We're, he we're heading straight to the land of dancing sheep now, lad. And only you can rescue him. It's said that only the son of the captured pirate can set him free. But what if he didn't have a son? Don't you read books or something, lad? You can't be a pirate unless you have a son. <sighs> How can I help him? I'm only a boy. Once you step foot onto that island, boy, the curse will be lifted, and your father shall be free. Oh! Oh, I see. That's easy then. Let's go. Aye, lad, so you think. Man the cannons! Starboard! Draw your weapons! Cannons blazed. Guns made loud explosive sounds. Reload! Go now, Davy. It's your only chance. Davy made his way to the small rowing boat that had been lowered for him. He rowed as fast and as hard as he could. Bodies were strewn across the water. A loud scream came from the ship. Give them hell! Davy made it to the shore. I made it! Father! Where are you? David woke in hospital, surrounded by his mother and father. Dad! You're... you're here!